Welcome to Dreger's Clubhouse in Burlington, Washington. Please call before coming as we are not always in and that way we can make sure we meet you so you can see the vehicle you'd like to see. And today we have a really neat original paint, original interior car, supposedly 70,000 miles and you be the judge. This is one beautiful 1954 Lincoln Capri two-door hardtop and you gotta like the way it looks. Now it's not perfect by any matter of means. It's got a few spots here and there, but it's really straight. I haven't found any signs of rust or anything else in it. And it just, it just, it looks good. I mean, it's a great looking car. It's got the lines, doesn't it? Just look at that car. This is just a pure class car. Any way you look at it, it's just a beautiful car. It's not, again, it's not perfect. You can see that the chrome here has got some issue right in there a little bit. And I can see some spots across there. Like on top here, it's a little bad. And this is not great in there. I'm blocking the view, I'm sure. And, it, and I don't know you can see it real well, but it's got some issues that way. There's some spots in the paint. It, but boy, look down the sides of that thing. Isn't it nice and straight? It just, it's really a good looking car. But you can see there's, like right there, there's a spot. And I see a little dent right there. I mean, there's just some issues here and there. But overall, you can't complain about how this car looks. It just, if you want a perfect car, this is not it. It's just a really nice car. It runs good. I've been driving it a bit. You can see in there a little bit. And of course, the two-door hardtop just really gives it a look and stuff so and it's a capri i mean it just looks really good all along here you can see the pitting on here on the deal on the door latch and of course you can see interior looks good look at that neat armrest there in the back it folds all the way up to the very top there and it just, it, this is just a pure luxury car is what this is. And it's got power windows, it's power steering, power brakes. You know, so it's got all the options on the way. And you can see the top up here, it all looks really good. And look at that dash, isn't that pretty? Dash looks good. I like this car. I've been driving it a bit. I drove it home and uh, I'm taking pictures of it and everything. All the windows work real well. You can see their power windows right here and they just go up very nicely and go down. Hope you saw all that. <laughs> anyway, hard to do it when I'm doing it by myself. There's the Vintag right there. You can see these door sills being easy. Uh, I, well, I don't know how hard it is to get those door sills. It's not like a Mustang. You can just buy anything for a Mustang. The other thing I want to show you. Clothes is good. It just really, it's a really nice car. And it, it, you got some spots all along here that are on here and stuff and there's a dent right there and there's some mooring right there a little bit there's some more spots in here so I'm looking for a per and there's a little dent right there there's more spots 
Going across the hood here, you got some rock chips across. Don't know if you can see them really well. The other thing I want to tell you, it's running right now. You can't even hear it run. It just runs really, really nice and smooth. And again, you got spots here in the bumper and places. And you got more, more different spots on it. So, so it's not a perfect car, but it sure is nice. And it looks good. And I gotta tell you, it's got eyeball. People are giving me the thumbs up on it and driving it and everything. So you can see, just there's a lot of little, it's even been touched in a couple of these spots, but you can see all those spots in there. So, again, if you want a, a perfect car, this is not it, but you want a nice driving car, you'll get a lot of attention on it. So you can see these spots in here. So it's got issues like that on the paint and stuff. But again, you look down the sides of this thing, look how nice and straight that is. I, you, can't, you can't argue with that. I mean, that's the way you like to buy them. It just, it just looks really, really good. And again, of course, this, I love the two-door hardtop it just gives it a really good look and again this door is much better on the handle and of course you can see all that's good but look at here you can see it, 70,052 miles. And you don't see those much any anymore either. That's so you can see the signal light when you're at a stoplight. The radio does not work. There's another radio in the trunk, but I'm not sure if it works or not, but it is in the trunk, so maybe you got a chance with that. You can see the headliner is all good. Tower seats, up and down, back and forth. stock hubcaps in the trunk so you can put the stock hubcaps back on it if you wanted.
it's got this great big mirror on here. You can see everything back of you. The stock mirror is underneath. And it's really interesting. One of the things I don't like about it, you can't tell how close cars are to you when they're coming up from behind you. So I'm not sure I would leave it on. Anyway, this thing just runs, drives nice, smooth, all looks good. It's running right now. We're gonna go underneath this 1954 Lincoln Capri so you can see the underside. Now, I was told it was a 70,000 mile car and it looks like it might be a 70,000 mile car, but when I got underneath here, I looked at it and it's got too much build up to be 70,000 miles. And anyway, we can take a look here. You can see it, it's solid. We didn't find any rust on this anywhere. I mean, it is really a solid car. It just runs and drives great, but you can see all this underneath here. It's just solid everywhere you look. We got a lot of stuff on it. Take a lot of work to clean this thing and, and get it there. So. If you're looking for a showpiece, it's not going to make it for you, but I got to tell you, it is solid. I've been driving it. I've got about 60 miles on it now, and it just drives great. It runs good. It's smooth. It's quiet. You can't even hear it run. So you can see we got a new exhaust system on here all the way through, and you can just look out here at the rockers on both sides, all these floor pans here. No rust anywhere. I don't see any rust, any any former idea of bot rust and stuff. So, and here's the heater, and I was running them today. I had the windows down, it was a cool day, but I was getting plenty of heat out of there. I can see there's a brand new uh, uh, hot water line on there. So uh, you got that, but you can see we got, there's the old vacuum tank for the brakes. Anyway, you can see just, it's it's covered with stuff. We haven't cleaned it. We didn't try. Uh, it it would take it would take quite a while to get it all cleaned up really nice and stuff. But I can see it's got new shocks on here. Look, and the brake lines I can see have been replaced on here also. So there's been some work on it. I see a new radiator hose on there, and and, and stuff. And the fuel pump looks like new maybe. So I mean it's had some service work done on it and taken care of. That's one of the reasons it runs and drives as good does but I you know, just wanted you to see the underside so you get a rough idea of what kind of shape it's in and stuff. So I I tell you what you'll get a lot of good service out of this car. I wanted to tell you that this is an original paint car, original interior, so it's very possible it's seventy thousand miles.
We are in Burlington, Washington, just north of Camping World. We got a great facility. We have a lot of interesting things to see. People call us a museum. Come see us.